Why hello there. Welcome back to Star Trek Resurgence. What's wrong? Jara. Ah uh, well. She'll be fine soon enough. And I hope she won't be mad for long. We were able to save almost a hundred Lydian from certain death. As for Lieutenant Pedrosian. Well, Ball will do her best, but the prognosis isn't very encouraging. I feel horrible about the whole thing, and I just hope she'll forgive me. Our crew expects us to protect them. It's always hard on us when we can't. Commander Rydek, I heard what you did. The sacrifice you made for our sake. You saved not only my life, but the lives of my crew. An incredibly heroic deed. All of Olivia is in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. Just doing our duty, Admiral. I'm sure you understand. If you'll excuse us? Of course. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. All right, I let's discuss. A chance for you and I to speak first. Given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hotari or Khan, I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves. Under our control. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I Why? can't afford another mission gone wrong. And I'm really raise a false alarm just yet and I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is I'm sorry captain but this isn't about you the lives of everyone who wears a uniform are at stake I don't see it that way we're ready in the briefing room captain on our way is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature unfortunately no Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. The Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Stone. We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by well, now. Well, literally I'm anywhere. Man. I'm not really sure what to do there, but, uh... I have faith in our away team. They won't give up easily, and if they can somehow manage to stay alive, then maybe they could get word to us about their location. That'd be a hell of a lucky break. Right now, we need all the luck we can get. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's um. reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. We either sound the alarm prematurely and look bad if nothing comes of it, or we keep this to ourselves and take the blame when it blows up in our face. Either way, we can't afford to get this wrong. Indecision. It's not without its own consequences. I want to speak with the Hotari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. All right. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their mines. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Olivia. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. 
bringing individual Takan back to life, one by one. Oh, crap. Oh, well. And what happens to the host? It's hard to say exactly. Some of their memories remain intact, but the implanted Taconian identity appears to have full control. In time, all that remains of the host may be lost entirely. It's an invasion. One victim at a time. Precisely. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. What if there are no Hotari left? If Galvin and Sidron were to come, who else? The Queen? I think we would know if that were the case. We'll take every precaution. The Cartabula gun, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. Thanks, Captain. You're long overdue for a Deridian infusion. Uh, it looks like I am. Sorry. I'll give you two a moment, but she needs her rest. I understand. Commander Rydek? Yes, ma'am. Is that you? I thought I heard your voice. I'm right here. Where? Before you say anything, I just want you to know, I don't blame you for what happened. I heard that last transport made it through. That was our mission, to save lives. So, I'm glad it was a success. And Dr. Duval tells me she can get me my sight back. Yeah, but, uh... Eventually. What if she doesn't? I... I just hope this isn't the end of my career. Can't be much of a tactical officer if you can't see what's coming. True that. You can find it in your heart to forgive me. Causing you harm was the last thing I would have wanted. Like I said, it's not your fault. I wouldn't have done it any differently myself. Okay. All right, you two. Lieutenant Bedrosian needs her rest. And you have an infusion waiting for you. I will check in on you soon. I promise. I'm gonna hold you to it. Right. Infusion time. Aside from almost running out of Deridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You I don't worry about. The captain, however... Go on. You see it, don't you? desperate withholding intel from starfleet just to save his reputation that's not normal behavior for a captain and you dodged the issue we can't make mistakes i go down as the most obvious thing a first officer ever said you've spent enough time with him now seen enough of how he runs the ship if there's something wrong as the ship's doctor i need to know don't sugarcoat you know I wouldn't. I think he's our captain. And I think this conversation is dangerously close to mutiny. The one who needs to decide how much danger we're in is you. Well, yes. I won't.
won't push it better. Jara. Monitor your duridium levels. I'll be right back. Kylas. How's your wound? Lucky it was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be well. Dead. Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sick bay, or worse. Well, I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. All right. Nice. You saw the truth. Oh, and those mines. Yeah. Like Citron and Galvin really are. Cleared the yeah, you did. The lengths they're willing to go to. Yeah. hard to accept that everything I thought I knew so much was a lie I'm sorry you had to see that I needed your help but I didn't intend to show you something so disturbing well I can't unsee it but we Hotari don't cower from an unpleasant truth Commander Rydick you're needed on the bridge at once what is it? the Hotari have agreed to meet Stowaways. They haven't found us yet. Good, I guess. Can't just wait. Alright, cargo bay. We have no idea when or if the resolute is gonna catch up. Trying to, the to get out of the we ship. Might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? Sure. Lead the way. Based on how this is reinforced, it probably contains dilithium. Straight phaser glass can cause a piezoelectric rupture and blow a hole in the ship. Better be careful. Yeah, I wouldn't want Come a on, hole Connor. in the ship. We need to stick with the tall guy. I know. Where's he going? Up there? All right, Edsilar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. <sighs> right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got All it. right. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our favorites. Low power, Miller. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Quickly shoot. Uh, five senses, all right. Got one. Another down. Hurry, Carter! I am! No, you're not. It worked. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. After all we know, she was trapped, watching it happen. Fighting it the whole time. Oh. 
person who shot at us wasn't Miranda. Don't think for a second that she turned on us. Because I don't. Neither do I. I know it seems like we could never trust her again. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. Sort of. You don't get to talk lost. about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. You better watch your tone, bud. We risked a hell of a lot to come help you. And our crewmates were injured, killed, in the process of rescuing yours. I'll grant that you showed your grit and effectiveness. More than I can say about accessing ship systems. They block out helm control, propulsion. They're closing down systems faster than I can check them. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Can I help you? Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Alright, let's just try and balance. I don't know what that's for, though. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. That's where we are. That's not exactly news. So, where are we going? Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but oh. uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the what? front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. They're going to do this all over the quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. You want to get back to Olivia? You want your vengeance? You'll get it. I have every intention. So help us stop this ship. For Olivia. And for everyone. Very well. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship. So that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zelt, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? What if we can, though? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. All right, clearing up. Okay, that should do it. Hello. Can you read me? Itasca, yep. is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed. And ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidwell and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Tosca, are you still there? You 
shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on this ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. I can do that, Major. Then we don't have time to lose. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting. Good. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there safely through the back routes. Right, let's go. Well then, let's talk. You may approach your majesty. An apology is in order. The Federation... You spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace. Yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have what? known you couldn't be trusted when you sided with the Illidians. We knew you were hiding something. We had to find the truth. I hope you were satisfied with what you found. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Hotari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter resolved. They never wanted the Federation involved. This was all just a ploy from the start. We never yes. needed the Federation involved. But we're so thankful that you've come. That being said, the sooner you leave, the better. The hell we will. What about my crew trapped aboard that ship? Or what you did to my security team. The data you stole. Well, I want to answer. make one thing clear. No one is to leave Hotari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power? But in fact, you have none. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this... Wait a minute. Um... Any dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Something far beyond your feeble imagination. Enough of this nonsense. You're not fooling anyone. We know you're to come. So dear, will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. That may play well with your bioformed friends. But your empty threats don't scare us. Just a friendly word of caution. 
You'll know when I'm threatening you. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine oh, what a cool yes, that's so. a starship captain or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Resolute. Beam us out. Now. 